Hi everyone, welcome to Jam Kim. Now today's video is on liquid state. This is a new chapter. Now this is present in BSc first year syllabus according to UGC in CBCS pattern. So let's start with this. Now in first part of liquid state, we will learn about the qualitative treatment of liquid state. Basically, we will learn about the properties of liquids and few important points. Now let us see. Now in the first property, we know that liquid state is an intermediate one between solids and gases. That is, we know that in solid state, there is strong cohesive force. When we heat it, this cohesive force decreases and the particles become free and we get liquid state. On further heating, we get gaseous state where there is no cohesive force, we can say, or there is large intermolecular spaces. So this is uh, intermediate stage between solids and gases. This is common and we know all about this. Now next point comes that it has some properties of solids and gases. That is, we will see one by one that it has similar properties as solids and gases. Now when liquid and solid is present together, that phase is known as condensed phase whereas liquid and gas when present together that phase is known as gaseous phase. Now in liquid states molecules have intermediate order of potential energies and cohesive force that is there is high cohesive force in case of solids whereas in case of gas there is least or no cohesive force so, in case of liquid, there is an intermediate order of cohesive force and potential energy. Right. Now, we will go to our next slide. Now, see, near about melting point where a solid melts to a liquid, density or volume of liquid does not change appreciably. That is, whatever density of solid it has, it will remain more or less same as that of the liquid. Now, we will see latent heat of fusion much less than that of latent heat of vaporization. We know that the heat required for melting of solid to liquid is known as latent heat of fusion. Whereas latent heat of vaporization refers to the heat, excess heat basically required to convert a liquid to a gas. So we see or we know from our previous knowledges in previous classes that latent heat of fusion that is the heat required for melting is much less than the heat required for formation of gas from liquid. The specific heats of a substance in solid and liquid state approach each other spatially near the freezing point indicating nature of motion of liquid and solid state are fundamentally same. Now, this point shows that there is some property similarity between solid and liquid. That is, specific heats of substance, that is the amount of heat content which a solid or liquid state can have, the amount, the quantity is given by specific heats of substance. So, these heat, specific heat for solid and liquid approaches nearly same value when they are near freezing point. Indicating that nature of motion and in liquid and solid are basically same. That is, they have same property or same energy with which they move in freezing point or near freezing point basically. Now, compressibility of liquid is of order 10 to the power minus 5 per atmosphere. That is, compressibility of liquid is of order something 10 to the power minus 5. Whereas for solids, it is nearly about 10 to the power minus 6. And for gases, it is reciprocal of pressure. Okay, now we will see our next slide. Now what is the resemblance between, uh, notable resemblance between the liquids and gases? That is, they lack both rigidity. We see the similarity in property. Now, ordered arrangement is not completely destroyed when this solid is liquefied. That is, we get liquid. This order arrangement is not perfectly destroyed. We will see it from the valence theory of liquids by Eyring. Okay. Now, we will also know that the studies in X-ray diffraction, that is, it is a method to detect 
whatever crystals or whatever particles are present in one kind of liquid or solid now this kind of study bears evidence that liquids have short range order that is the interaction between the two liquid molecules is of the form of short range that is the distance between them is not very much just like gases in which we see that the particles are much away from each other like this so we can understand that short range order that is short range force between them is proved by x ray diffraction now we will see the last point that is in this slide at standard temperature and pressure that is what we know as stp a gas occupies 22400 cm cube per mole of volume while majority of liquids and solids occupy between 10 and 1000 cm cube per mole here also a similarity or near similarity lies between liquids and solids and a difference in property with gas now let us see our next part this slide is very very important please do understand it now at standard temperature and pressure we have an idea that from the experiments the scientists or the chemists have obtained that volume of gas divided by volume of liquid is nearly about 1000 now what do we mean by this from this we can infer that the distance between atoms in gas is 10 times that of liquid that is the distance between the atoms is much 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 greater in case of gases than that of liquids how this was concluded from our first point now what is volume volume is basically side cube now a cube so on cube rooting this value we can get the distance that is a will be obtained so this is how it is obtained now we will see that we cannot express solid and liquid by equation of state it is an important statement just like gases where we can express it as pv equal to nrt or p plus a by v square into v minus b equals to rt we have already dealt with these equations in kinetic theory of gas so the videos are available in channel so if you want to see it you can see it i will give it link in the description box now let us do our job now see why we cannot express solid and liquid by equation of state on the basis of whatever we have just now studied the answer is negative why because the distance of molecules between liquids and solids are very small now so the intermolecular forces have an effect which is very very large that is cohesive force present between them is very very large so the properties of these phases where well, basically the condensed phases depends on details of the force acting between them and these forces are different for different kinds of molecules so there must be present different laws for each kind of molecules or each kind of liquids or solids so that is not possible equation of state is proposed for a general category so we cannot express the solid and liquid by equation of state right now we will see our last part that is irving and re two scientists proposed a simple theory that intermolecular space in liquid is not randomly distributed that is whatever we think of it as intermolecular spaces are here and there actually it is not there is a particular pattern actually the intermolecular spaces in this theory is replaced by holes right so it contains molecular sized holes or vacancies they are also circular in shape now liquid is considered as random congregation that is arrangement of molecules and these holes now we will learn about the most important physical properties of liquids vapor pressure surface tension viscosity and refraction we will deal with these 
each properties in separate videos so the next video on liquid state will come upon the property of vapor pressure and the other four videos will come from surface tension viscosity and some remaining properties now for bsc syllabus refraction is not required according to the syllabus vapor pressure surface tension viscosity and there is surface active reagents that is detergents as we know will be involved in this chapter so this much for today thank you for watching please do not forget to subscribe my channel for more videos and like share and comment